Hello and welcome back to Mikey's Flytech. Today I will show you how you can build the two front parts for your Boeing window frame and installing all the parts. Because the front of the frame covered the connection of the sidewall and the front part of the cockpit, all three parts had to be arranged in their final position. The MDF is not strong enough to screw some angle irons onto it, so I used additional wooden blocks. Wooden window frame parts can be connected with a threaded rod. And finally the chart holder was installed by using two dowels. Now I started covering the frame with 2 cm of foam. To build the cover of the front part, I cut a channel into a piece of foam. You may remember this technique from my last video. In my measurements, this post has a width of 7 cm. To cover it with foam, only 8 mm are left for every outside wall. So it's extremely critical that you don't lose more of this wall thickness when you slide over this nut here. So make sure that your threaded rod don't look outside this nut. The front cover is divided into two parts. The cutting line was eyeballed horizontal. I've cut all these pieces separately. But when I think about it now, then it could have been made from a piece like that I've made for the lower part. The window handle and its plate were glued in place.
The whole part above the handle is a little bit thicker, so I added an extra layer of 1 cm. Don't hesitate to cut this thing or care too much about the measurements. Just start with it and cut it. All I did was eyeballing measurements from approximately 13 by 10 centimeters and that was all. I cut this block of foam and started carving it. And I think it comes out really nice. I prepared a thin glass close to save this time during the next step. Then I laminated it onto the foam. Followed again by some days of filling, modeling and sanding. Good to have someone who cleans up from time to time. After everything is finished, I applied a primer and several coats of paint. Now I started fixing the parts to the frame. To keep them removable, I used some hook and loop tape, which was mounted into the frame at some points. If you're defining the points to place this hook and loop tape, you always should take points where the movement of this cover ends. You can't place the tape underneath the frame here, because the cover would scrub over it, the tape would stick and wouldn't allow this kind of movement.
And here it is finally installed. It looks so beautiful and I'm very happy that I've come to this stage of the project. But enough of window making for now. I want to come to another part of the cockpit. But if you want to know what it is, then you'll have to wait for my next video or follow me on Instagram, where I'm posting some working pictures from time to time. And if you haven't done already, subscribe to my channel to stay informed about any upcoming new video from me. So I hope we'll see us soon back on the flight deck.